Hey everybody, this is Dave Cooper, Dave Cooper Live, where we showcase the people, the products, and the processes, building it better. We have been on a whirlwind tour the last couple weeks between Las Vegas, Connecticut, Boston for Steel Horizons. We just got home and we're getting ready to take off again for Europe in a few short weeks. So leading up to that, we have David Rengley from Rengley International out of Switzerland on the show today. It's going to be a great interview. It's a short interview, but you're going to love it. First, a word from our sponsors. Stream Modular, the only logistics company you need to transport your mods, pods, and panels. Our friends at Stream Modular are investing $50 million over the next 25 years to build the technology, solutions, and trailers needed to handle and transport the projects of today and meet the demands of tomorrow. Reach out to their team at StreamModular.com to discuss your next project. CombiLift is the largest global manufacturer of multi-directional forklifts and straddle carriers. A leader in long load handling solutions offering a free warehouse in site optimization design service. CombiLift helps companies of all sizes and from every industry maximize the capacity, safety, and efficiency of their warehouse and storage facilities. A big thank you to Paul Short and the team at CombiLift for helping us all to build it better. Visit them at combilift.com. Brave Control Solutions, where offsite manufacturing systems that do more than just improve productivity. They have a unique approach to industrialized construction, a lineup of flexible automation systems specifically designed for the construction industry empowered by CAD to Fab and turnkey solutions for 3D volumetric assembly, structural insulated panels, finished wall assemblies, MEP component processing, assembly, kitting, and storage. Learn more at thinkbrave.com. To be honest, with this level of skill in the factory, there is a certain time, a certain step needs, and you can only improve so much. But on the process side, on the digital side, it's immense. And uh, yeah, we really want to go down that road and uh, be competitive in the future as well. Everybody, this is Dave Cooper, and we are in Switzerland at Rangley Panelized Manufacturing Company, and I am staying with David Rangley, and we're going to get into exactly what's going on in this factory. We're going to have a great interview. David, thanks for joining us. Well, Dave, it's a pleasure to having you here. Yeah. It's fantastic. So welcome. This, this place is absolutely amazing. It's been in business for over 100 years. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the history? Well, the history is we started in 1923 as a little sawmill, and we were mainly doing uh, regional projects, um, some roofs and some odd farmhouses and whatnot. And then in 1995, we started going into panelization and offsite construction. We built our first factory, mainly aimed for the single family detached housing market. And then in 2012, we really expanded. And nowadays, we're doing multi family, multi story timber houses nursing homes, elderly homes, hospitals and whatnot. So right, yeah. Right. And I mean through the years I'm sure it's changed multiple times on exactly where this all fits within the culture here and what you guys actually do. So tell us a little bit about the culture because this is a family run business and families can be tricky, but you guys have seemed to be able to pull it off all the way through your mother was in human resources. <laughs> exactly. So um we started or when my father's generation took over in 1991. Yeah. It was only about 12 people working for this firm. Nowadays we're about 250. Wow. So obviously we grew organically but at a rather fast rate. So it was immensely important for us to keep that kind of family culture, that involvement of people at a very high level. I think also it's really what sets us apart today as um, our own people, they call themselves in German Renklianer, which is basically they're showing that they're part of the culture of the family as well. It's immensely important, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it is important. And, you know, you told us a little bit of a story when we were walking around about how all the employees in the company got together to give your father a birthday gift. And, and they all came in, they learned how to do cedar siding on the building. And all the employees came in, donated their time 
to put it together and do it as a surprise. You know, it's, it's, it's a fantastic example because I think when we talk about culture, everyone would agree it's important. Yeah. Every manager would tell you that the company has a phenomenal culture and whatnot. But I think it's stories like this that really prove the fact yeah. where you as, a, as an employee really have to dedicate something and uh, live up to what we're continuously talking yeah. about. And uh, it's a phenomenal example of that. We're immensely grateful. And I think what really is fun that even today, 10 years later, everyone who's still with us, they know exactly which angle they put up. Right, right. What is the area that you service? Uh, we service uh, from this factory the entire Swiss market. Uh, we also go a bit abroad. We do some building projects in Germany, have worked from Munich to Berlin, but uh, our primary market is Switzerland. It comes with a bit of uh, complications because we have four languages, four official languages here in this country. So when we're in Geneva, we're serving the entire process from first meeting to handing over the building in French, same in Italian or in German. Yeah. So that adds complexity also to the culture. But it's good that here in Switzerland, it's mandatory to learn three languages. So hopefully they're the right language languages. But I would imagine, you know, having a multilingual factory, which this is, people speak all different kinds of languages. Uh, is there any barriers for anybody or do they all seem to be able to communicate okay? Well, the good thing is since we're producing in a central location here, the majority uh, is German. Yeah. Um, but of course, when you have project managers coming in from the French part, from the Italian part or from the English part, well, yeah, we have to be able to deal with that. Uh, we're super flexible and I think the culture, the bonding, the events really helps. Like if you had a beer together with a guy from another department, it's more likely you'll find the common language also in here in the factory. Yeah. Let's talk about the clients and the volume. So you mentioned healthcare, education uh, and others. Who is your typical clients? Architects, investors, shareholders? Um, I think the typical client nowadays is either a real estate investor or a general contractor that has been uh, contracted by the real estate investor to come to us. Here specifically, we also work, work with a lot of architects um, if they're just handing out the timber works. Yeah. And we're doing about 150 different projects a year, reaching from you know a five apartment building to 200. Yeah. With that comes challenges, you know, and when you're scaling up, you're adding new employees, right, uh, future plans. What are some of the challenges that you guys are currently facing here in, in your manufacturing? I think one of the biggest challenges besides uh, finding the right amount of talent um, that I think in these days market everyone has uh, to deal with. I think one of the key visions that we have is we really want to kind of seamlessly integrate the digital process, meaning from the architectural plans yeah. all the way to the machine data. Uh, we're working with a super skilled team. It's a journey. It will take a few years till we get there. But uh, it's certainly one tricky thing to do as we are using a bunch of platforms, a bunch of systems and to really seamlessly integrate those different systems that is tricky. Yeah, yeah it, it's tricky, but I think it's necessary for the future. Exactly. I mean, if we look at construction and where we have efficiency gains, this is certainly yeah. one area. I mean, to be honest, with this level of skill in the factory, there is a certain you know, a certain time, a certain step needs and you can only improve so much. But on the process side, on the digital side, it's immense. And uh, yeah, we really want to go down that road and uh, be competitive in the future as well. Right. So David, you're a young person, you know, that is stepping up in the company as an executive with some of your other family members. What are you looking at as the future? Because you've seen your dad do this. You've, you know, you've seen other family members, your grandfather and so forth do this, and it did not start out to where it is today. And my guess is your vision's a little bigger and broader. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly different, I would say. I mean, you know, it was a crazy vision 20 years ago yeah. to build a factory like that. But nowadays, I think we have a bit different challenges. For example, as a firm, you want to become more agile. We, the, the environment is moving faster, the competitor is moving faster, so therefore we need to catch up or to stay ahead of the yeah. curve. Right. Um, so yeah, it's a bit different. It's like re things like remote work, right. digitalization and whatnot that are main drivers of change. Yeah. And um, it's a bit different areas. It's not just uh, bricks and machines or, or timber construction and right. machines anymore. Yeah. yeah, it really it really is it. I mean, you got automation coming in here. Even your trucks are on loaded you know and robots really are sliding them into the CNC machine it begins at the front door when the trucks show up the automation on what you're doing so David I appreciate you taking a few minutes to talk to us 
Yeah, thank you so much. It's a pleasure having you here and uh, thank you. Yeah, well, we're looking forward to bringing you more of what's going on inside of uh, Rangley Manufacturing Plant here today. And uh, David's going to come on our show hopefully here in the near future as well. So you all can ask him questions. So David, thank you. I'm Dave Cooper. We are still in Switzerland seeing how they are building it better. Stay tuned for more. Bye now. What an amazing show. Thank you to all of our sponsors for helping us to continue to bring all of these innovative conversations to all of you out there. Please visit them, see what they have to offer you. And as always, subscribe to the YouTube channel and ring that bell. It would mean the world to us. I'm Dave Cooper. Thanks for watching.